this is how we're going to reduce subscriber churn in our business by doing internal market research from our own customers. Uh, and we're going to work out why people are leaving our company and why they're not paying for our products, why we're losing out against our competition. We're trying to answer all these questions, why people aren't buying our product. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is by gathering data. So I've drawn this little graph here to basically explain uh, something that you may be experiencing, which is you've got this is time along the bottom here. Uh, and then obviously you've got your revenue along the top. So basically what a lot of people experience when they start a company is they see a huge spike at the start. And this is where typically where you've got you know very high motivation levels. Maybe you've done a plan for launch and you see this spike. And then what happens over time is this will then drop. Uh, and typically this level here may be what you're worried about. This is coming up to like the 12 months goal. This is how do we get past this level here? Because after a while, a business will start to fail if you don't realize what's causing these problems. Now, there is a spike here caused typically by launching a new product. Uh, and the example I'm going to use here is software. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we can solve this problem, in fact, using my software. And this is kind of like an internal case study. So I built a software company, Chat IQ. The link is down below. You can start a free trial. You've got two weeks to use it for free. Uh, and it basically allows us to gather data from our customers. So customer satisfaction is basically the goal here. So not only can we help our customers get access to information easily by you know communicating with chatbots and gathering support tickets but we can also gather information from those customers those chats every single conversation somebody has with a chatbot on our website uh, excuse me, I'm just looking at the, there we go. Every conversation somebody has with the chatbot on our website is valuable data for our company to identify not only why people are leaving or not using our product, but also to help us understand what they think when they first come to our landing page. So this is how it works. Why are we getting high churn and what can we improve? Now, let's take, for example, uh, we have a product. So this is this is Chat IQ, right? This is the main dashboard. Let's say you've got a software product or you've got a course or something like that. People are using your product day in, day out, hopefully, right? You've got some at least some users who are using it. You need to understand what are they thinking when they're using it. Same thing goes for your website. You need to understand what are people thinking when they land on your website. Do they understand what your product is? Are they able to get the information that they need to make a decision to purchase quick enough? Uh, and if they're not, why are they not? And how do we know what information that they're actually looking for? Because think about it like this, right? If I So this is obviously, you know, you can do support ticketing and whatnot, right? But if I didn't know what my selling points were for my product, when somebody comes to my landing page, I don't know what things to put on here. So, you know, knowing what's important, the prioritization of support tickets for my software is an important feature. It's an important thing that people want. How do I know that? How do I know that automatic replies to support tickets is an important thing. And the only reason I know this is because I'm gathering data from conversations people are having with my chatbot on my website. So here's how it works. Let me just come back into here. Basically, we have a, uh, it's our business, think of it like a brain. We're creating our own AI brain. And this brain is able to understand everything about our business. You've got the website, blog pages, training documents, whatever, FAQs. Uh, and the reason we have all this information is to help people get answers to questions. But we can also use this in a way to gather data. So when somebody comes in and they ask, how can I delete data in my data feed? For example, this is a question I said to my own chatbot. This is useful information for me as a company. I now know that if somebody's using my product, so this is, for example, like this is a chatbot that's set up within my product. So anybody who's asking this question in my product, this lets me know that it's not obvious to them how to delete data in their data feed, which is a bottleneck in my business. This is a reason that could cause subscriber churn. Same thing goes if somebody said, uh, how can I cancel my subscription? If that message is sent to my chatbot, and I can read that message, I know that that's another bottleneck in my business. For example, I can see the difference between, you know, how many people are coming in with simple requests and what's the similarity between those simple requests and also how many complex issues am I having within my business? And then as a result of that, where are we here? What is then causing people to leave my product? Because at the end of the day, I have a subscription product. If people want to know how to cancel their subscription and they can't, then it's just going to frustrate them. And I know what frustration points there are. The same thing goes for your website. When somebody comes onto your website and they ask for something specific like this. So they're going to ask, for example, can I customize the branding of my chatbot? 
I know as I as a business when I see this, if somebody is asking this question, this means they want that feature. They want this from my product. And if I don't offer that, they're not going to purchase. In this case, you can obviously customize the chatbot for your own brand. Uh, and obviously, as a result, then this user would then subscribe or sign up to my product. Uh, but this is useful information for me. So how do I then read this information? How do I use this information? Well, if I come into my chat IQ account, uh, you can see here, if we come down to messages, I can select whichever chatbot I'm seeing at the moment. You can see here, this is the conversation uh, we just had earlier. How can I delete data in my data feed? I'm going to refresh this, wait for the data to populate. But basically, I can read all the all the previous conversations that people have had with my chatbot. Uh, and you can see here, if people are asking what's the refund policy, then maybe they're worried about getting their money back or whatever. These are all sample questions that I've been doing. But I can see conversations people are having with my chatbot live. I can then use that data and I can find out how, as a business, I can improve. If I have data on why people are leaving, why people are then churning, I can improve my business. Now, beyond this, I can do a lot more things like automating customer support, uh, and I've done another video on this, so go ahead and watch that if you're interested. Uh, but it's incredibly easy to do. So if you head to the link down below uh, in the description, you can go to my website, chatiq.ai. You can start a free trial, uh, and what it's going to allow you to do is if we come to the data feed, you can then uh, scrape your entire website. So put in your URL here, uh, and it will find every single page on your website. It will scrape all of the visible text from your website. You can see these are all the URLs that I've scraped. I've got 153,000 words. So now I have a chatbot that I can build. I can select which bits of data I'm going to use, create a chatbot. I can then, obviously, if I want, I can add more files. I can change the information the chatbot's using in its responses. Uh, but I now have a chatbot that's able to answer users' questions. I can then visit this chatbot. I can, you know, customize the branding and all of that for the chatbot. So I'm able to just automate all these FAQs, but at the same time, I can use that information to my advantage. I can see what people are thinking when they come to my website. I can gather information and details. Uh, I am actually launching a new feature which will allow us to gather people's email addresses as well when they land on the website. So there's a whole lot of research that we can do uh, from our customers. And when we do that, we start to pull out of this loop here. We start to flatten the line and then we start to pick up the growth uh, as well. And as we start to pick up the growth, this all happens here uh, because we now understand why someone isn't buying our product or why somebody's leaving our product or what questions they have about our product. Uh, so the link is down below in the description. It's called chatiq.ai and you can get started for free for two weeks.